You get some linoleum from an old floor or some offcuts of linoleum and you cut your pattern or your picture into them. And remember that whatever's left, like this, will ink up and come out black in the design. Whatever you cut away won't take the ink and it'll come out white. So this one is in fact going to be a black wombat and a white background. Not a terribly good design. I'm not awfully good at this. Some people are. Here's a beauty. This is a large piece of liner and it's a lovely rosette. And you can see that if you ink that up and press it onto some material or paper, you get a very striking pattern indeed. It's sometimes hard to ink something as large as that and press it evenly. It's not as easy as rubber stamps. Wouldn't it be beautiful if you could make your own rubber stamps? In fact, you can, by the same technique. And this is an idea suggested by Emily Booth, who made all of these. They're just ordinary old uh, household rubbers, the sort of thing that you use for taking your pencil marks off paper. But she's been cutting around with these lino knives and making the most beautiful designs. In fact, if I take one of these things, that dog pattern here, shove it on an ink pad and plonk it onto paper, just like a rubber stamp, I get the design I want. First of all, take a rubber that really is nice and square. Take one that hasn't been used, hasn't got rounded edges. If you can take these lino knives and you'll find that they've all been uh, made in special sections, corners and curves and things like that, one for each occasion, and you can begin to cut just seeing what sort of pattern you can develop. Be very careful of your fingers, they're quite sharp. But if you go wrong here and you take out too much, that's the end of it because you can't ever put it back in again. So the best trick is really to sketch where you're going with a pencil. And say you wanted to do a face, you could draw it on here, put the ears on and the eyes and the nose and rearrange things. When you're happy, cut around that and you get the picture that you want. When you get to letters though, it's more difficult because each of these things, when you print it, comes out back to front. A lot of people aren't awfully good at writing back to front. So if you wanted to make a stamp that say, said, ooh, curiosity show, this is how you might go about it. Take the uh, eraser or the rubber, put it down on a piece of paper and draw around the edges. This is a long one because curiosity show is a long word. One line there, one line there, and lines at the ends. And that tells you exactly what the space is that you've got to work in. Now on the paper, you can write normally. And I'll put in curiosity show like this. I'll put in curiosity on this side and show on the other. Curiosity. I make sure it fits and then I can transfer it to the rubber. And I do it by folding, first of all, along those long edges. Here goes. And once that's folded, I can now tuck the rubber into that, make sure it covers exactly the same space, bring the papers up around the edges, turn it over, and with a pencil, rub on the back part of that paper. Don't let it smudge and move. But if I do that all over, it'll transfer carbon from the writing back onto the rubber. If I then take the paper off, you should see, there's the word, curiosity show, back to front on the rubber, and I can cut around that. And I do it by using the knives. And one little trick might help. When you put the knife in, you can't really see where it's been. There we are, curved knife around the O. Pull it out, you can't see where it's been. If you dip it on the ink pad first, and then you put it in, you can see clearly where it's been. So that's a trick that'll tell you where your knife's been. And once it's been there, use the safety knife or other knives to cut around the rubbish around the shape that you want. If you cut those letters out, it takes a long time, but you'll end up with something like this. That curiosity show will look like that. Curiosity there, and show on the other side. Let's see how it prints. Onto the stamp pad, a straight one and a curved one. Turn it over, we get show there and show there. Well, those are my designs. These are Emily's. Mm -hmm.